free food hack and then Tyson and Anytizers. Boneless chicken bites, honey barbecue flavor. We're gonna add some sauce to it. Frank's red hot buffalo sauce. That's the good stuff right there. So we'll put a little bit on each one. That's beautiful. Got the oven preheated to 350. Then my uh, honey barbecue. We're gonna have a little bit of buffalo flavor to it. And we're gonna hit that top of those frozen wings that are pre-cooked with some A1 steak sauce. Then we're going to hit the top of that with little bits of butter. Oh, it's going to, flavor is going to melt into the wings. Then we're going to take some Baconator up. Or in this case, bacon up, not related to Wendy's, but we got this stuff called bacon up. It's bacon grease. The company that makes this, the fans send it, looking delicious as always. And we're going to uh, throw this grease onto on our wings. I'm gonna stick these in the fucking oven. All that fat and buttery goodness will fucking melt on there when it bakes. And then when they're like about a third or a fourth of the way cooked and all that's melted on top, we're going to add some more ingredients to make it pop. So after taking them out of the oven when they look like this, draining some of the excess grease off, these nacho wings are ready for the next step, YouTube. Now we're going to take some Serengeto pepper jack cheese. And this other cheese. And this sauce. And I'm just going to take some of that cheese. That pepper jack habanero jalapeno cheese. And tear it up into chunks. Put it all over the top of our boneless wings and our greasy mess here. Now we got this cheese from Dites and Watson. It's a bacon and horseradish cheese. There's a habanero jalapeno pepper jack cheese. I'm chopping them wings. Then we'll throw it back in the oven for a quick little bake. Let's add some cheese to it. The third step we'll add chips to it. And cut off ourselves a big chunk of this cheese. This is supposed to be a habanero cheese with bacon in it. Start just dumping that and tearing it into chunks. I'm putting a bunch of this cheese on top. I'm gonna throw on some uh, hot and chunky horseradish sauce. The sauce ranch isn't as spicy as I'm used to, but it's got enough flavor on it that I fuck with it. Now I'm gonna put these back in the fucking bloody oven. Get the cheese nice and melted on top. Then we're gonna add some other flavors to it as well. We got some Hormel real bacon bits. Some 
So using like bacon bits that you would top on your like afternoon salad for little salty treats. Just makes it easier. That's already pre-cooked. Just go ahead and pour the whole goddamn bottle of bacon bits on there. Because we're feeling just ballsy like that. Mmm. <coughs> mmm. Mm. All that goddamn cheese gonna melt. And then bacon bits will melt on top of them wings. We gotta add one more ingredient to it before we uh, let it cool off and tuck in. Just like the last time we done adding shit to it and throw it in the oven. We about to finish making dickness. Let's check that out of the oven real quick. We must ask ourselves what qualifies as nachos. Is it cheese and meats and chips? Because when the cheese started looking ooey gooey, yes, please tease me, squeeze me like this, we gotta take this son of a bitch out. Before we throw them back in, in there, we wanna crush on some Cheetos. Cheddar jalapeno crunchy Cheetos on top. Make that shit pop, dude. Let's get a handful of them Cheetos, jalapeno cheddar. It ain't nothing fancy, you two, but I tell you what, man, people are like, we want to see what the fuck you making. The oven is still 350, ready to go, ready to rock slow. Yeah, we're going to hit that top layer of Cheetos. Put some more of that cheese. The ultimate wing snack. We have some Sargento pepper jack cheese with jalapeno habanero chunks. Let's take some out. Let's drape it across. Like that. Oh, it doesn't want to stay on there because of how thick it is. That's all right. Back in the fucking oven so that cheese can melt all over the top of it with those nacho ingredients as we've dictated nachos equals cheese and chips. Let that melt and get all gooey ooey on our boneless wings. Oh yes. And that's our food hack. Them wings are smelling done. That's a hot tamale. We baked them wings for a hot minute. I'm gonna let these sons of bitches cool off. Nacho wings. All the cheese has melted on top. There's, they just have that smell to them, you know. You ever smell them done, son? These boneless bites are smelling good. Let them cool off. We want to try this damn food hack. Got a truly in a fork. Will this food hack be truly delicious or truly weird? Which is adorable. Can 
enough of slash so that was wing edge. Just take a look at that chicken. It's bloody fully cooked. Frozen wings are not exactly that hard to cook. No, I let it cool off because I didn't want to scold my mouth on it. It is good. It's sweet, it's spicy, it's savory, it's smoky. King Cobra was later a sweet hack. You can handle a little bit of heat, it's actually not that bad. It's a little cold. So the cheese is going to be solidified onto the wing, but there ain't nothing wrong with that. Mmm.